So it's easy to criticize, but they're really criticizing science because I represent science. I mean, who is running the science and technology in a democracy if the people don't know anything about it? The devil is a liar, says he can give you everything that you desire, everything you want but you be playing with the fire, so don't believe the light, it comes at a price. Hey internet friends, every single day lately I log online, I read some articles, I drive around my car, listening to the radio, people are saying the same things about AI. AI will replace our jobs, AI is so smart, AI will be sentient. And I see normal people repeating these talking points. I see people all across legacy media and alternative medias repeating these talking points. And we've got this weird little bow down and worship AI and be afraid echo chamber going on here. And I'm not saying that doesn't have some merit. I just have a different take. It's not really just for the purposes of being contrarian. But what if AI isn't that big of a deal? And I got this idea for a school I would like to start. Something called the five minute university. <laughs> and the idea is that in five minutes, you learn what the average college graduate remembers five years after he or she is out of school. I saw a man with a telescope. Now, you tell me, uh, did you yeah. see a man walking by and he was holding a telescope in his hand? Or did you look through a telescope and see a man? I saw a man with a telescope is ambiguous, and maths can be like that sometimes too. So, one or nine, they're kind of both the answer. What would the cost of like $20? <laughs> that might seem like a lot of money, $20 just for five minutes. But that's for like a tuition, <laughs> cap and a gown rental, <laughs> graduation a picture, snacks, everything, everything included. But really, on the back end, the controllers of AI, if you will, are selling your data that's specific to you and selling them to companies with perhaps not the most, with perhaps very nefarious intentions um, to fulfill, to identify fulfilling needs for products, to sell things, to analyze human behavior, to make the model stronger in the future, better, all these things you're feeding the machine. And uh, You know, like in college, you have to take foreign language. Well, at the five-minute university, you can have your choice. Any language you want, you can take it. Say if you want to take Spanish, what I teach you is Como esta usted? That means how are you? And the answer is muy bien. Means very well. And believe me, if you took two years of college Spanish, five years after you're out of school, como esta usted muy bien, about all you're gonna remember. Before you go, we need help with our homework here. There's a maths problem that has left the entire internet stumped. Mm. Can you help us solve this? I'm just going to anticipate that there are a few different opinions for people who are maybe watching at home or maybe even there in the studio with you. Lots of people are thinking maybe it's uh, 2 times 1 plus 2 is 6. So 6 divided by 6 gives you 1, which I think is what you mentioned. But other people are going to argue and say, no, 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 hold up. 6 divided by 2, that's 3. And then you multiply that by 1 plus 2, which is 3. Yes. And yep. you get 9. So yeah. is the answer 1 or 9? What's the difference? <laughs> Economics... Supply and demand. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> business, businesses, you buy something 
and you sell it for more. What if it's not really as all-knowing as everyone claims? What if it's actually been around for a very long time and we're just getting the front-facing public version? Not because we're the customer or that we'll really benefit from it in the long run, but we're actually the product instead of the AI. And all of our data, once again, is being mined from us under the guise of progress. And you might hate me for a second, but I'm going to say the answer is... Yes, what? because what's yes? What? this yeah, is what's actually yes? a exactly. mathematical equation that, get me, right, it was designed to be ambiguous. You might not like that, but it's a bit of a gotcha kind of problem. It's meant to trick you. Ugh. It's a mathematical sentence a little bit like, I saw a man with a telescope. Then I put on your cap and a gown. I get out to my Polaroid camera, you know, <laughs> make a little snap a flash of picture for you. I give you the picture. You give me $20. I give you a diploma. And your college graduate, ready to go. People think they're using a product they are the product that's all I had to say you are the product maybe not you maybe not you specifically but in general this is a case of you're not the customer you're the product <laughs> We know now uh, that um, the next crisis is already waiting for us around the corner. It's a spiritual battle! A warfare between good and evil. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box. There's always someone walking among us who has nefarious objectives and will use some of our greatest technology for the unraveling of civilization. That is, that's always been the case.